Today, we're diving deep into macOS 26 Tahoe Beta 8, build 25A5349, dropped on August 25, 2025. Is this the ultra-stable beta we've been waiting for as Apple races toward the final release? In this video, we'll cover what's new, how it performs, lingering bugs, and whether you should install it. Plus, we'll compare Geekbench scores, talk ecosystem integration, and peek at what's next for Tahoe. Let's set the stage. macOS 26 Tahoe Beta 8 is the eighth developer beta, and it's likely the last before the release candidate. Released just a week after Beta 7, this update is small. Only 1.74 GB on my ThinkPad T480, and it's just three build iterations from Beta 7, 25A5346A to 25A5349. For context, a Delta package like this only includes changes since the last update, keeping the download size lean. This late in the beta cycle, Apple's not dropping new features. Instead, they're polishing the system for stability and performance, gearing up for the public release expected around mid-September. Beta 8 supports all recent Apple Silicon Macs, MacBook Pro and Air from 2020, iMacs from 2020, Mac Mini, and Mac Studio with M-Series chips. Intel Mac users, keep an eye on community feedback, as Apple Silicon is where Tahoe shines. So, what's actually new in Beta 8? Not much you'll see with the naked eye. Apple's focused on internal tweaks, so don't expect new icons or a UI overhaul. Here's the rundown. The Photos framework got minor updates, but these are private APIs, developer-only stuff that doesn't change how you use the app. It looks and feels identical to Beta 7. Small tweaks to contact posters, those customizable profile images you can sync across Apple devices. Again, no noticeable changes for everyday users. The liquid glass aesthetic, introduced in earlier betas, is unchanged. It's sleek, modern, and gives Tahoe a distinct vibe, but Beta 8 doesn't add anything new here. For comparison, earlier betas brought bigger changes like new icons, a revamped phone app, and spotlight improvements. Beta 8 is all about fine-tuning what's already there, which is typical as Apple nears the finish line. Now, let's talk stability, because that's the big question. Is Beta 8 finally stable? On my ThinkPad T480, my main machine, it feels rock solid. Spotlight searches are lightning fast, apps launch smoothly, and the system is noticeably polished compared to Beta 7, which I already trusted enough for daily use. The external hard drive icon is still stuck showing the macOS Sequoia icon instead of Tahoe's updated design. It may need some overhaul for some icons to be totally in line with Tahoe. While some experience the clock app in dark mode which the icon in the dock shows a blank face, no hands. It's a minor visual glitch, but it's been around since Beta 7. If your Mac's been asleep for a long time, alarms might not go off. Apple's workaround is to disable automatic display sleep in system settings, displays, but it's not a perfect fix. These are cosmetic or niche issues, not deal breakers. Apple only patches major bugs this late. Think back to iOS 16, where a software update screen glitch, showing 16.0 instead of the correct version, got fixed in a beta 8. Unless a critical issue pops up, don't expect these minor bugs to be addressed before the release candidate. Let's get to the fun part. Performance. Willie Apple run Geekbench on Beta 8 on his Mac Mini M4, and it's the fastest Tahoe Beta yet. Here's how it compares. Beta 6, 3,674 single-core, 15,131 multi-core, the previous high. Beta 7, 3,686 single-core, 15,119 multi-core. Beta 8, 3,758 single-core, 15,291 multi-core. That's a solid jump, especially in single-core performance, which makes apps like Final Cut Pro, Xcode, and even Safari feel snappier. The multi-core boost is great for multitasking and heavy workloads. These numbers show Apple's optimizing Tahoe for M4 chips, and for a beta, they're impressive. One of Tahoe's strengths is how it fits into Apple's ecosystem. Beta 8 was released alongside updates for iOS 26, iPadOS 26, watchOS 26, and tvOS 26, ensuring all platforms work seamlessly together. For example, features like Handoff let you start a task on your iPhone and pick it up on your Mac, while Universal Control lets you use one keyboard and mouse across your Mac and iPad. In my testing, 
These features feel smoother in Beta 8, with fewer hiccups when syncing contacts or photos across devices. Contact posters, tweaked in this beta, sync beautifully with iOS 26, letting you customize profiles that look great on all your screens. This tight integration is why Apple tests all platforms in sync, and it's a big reason to be excited for Tahoe's public release. So, should you jump into Beta 8? If you're a tech enthusiast or beta tester, go for it. It's stable, fast, and a great way to preview Tahoe before the public release. Head to System Settings, Software Update to grab it. Download size varies by device, but mine was 1.74 GB. If your Mac is your workhorse for critical tasks like work or school, hold off for the release candidate or public release. Those minor bugs, like the clock app glitch, could be a nuisance in a high-stake setup. Always back up your Mac before installing a beta. Better safe than sorry. So, should you jump into Beta 8? If you're a tech enthusiast or beta tester, go for it. It's stable, fast, and a great way to preview Tahoe before the public release. Head to System Settings, Software Update to grab it. Download size varies by device, but mine was 1.74 GB. If your Mac is your workhorse for critical tasks like work or school, hold off for the release candidate or public release. Those minor bugs, like the clock app glitch, could be a nuisance in a high-stake setup. Always back up your Mac before installing a beta. Better safe than sorry. What's next? Today's August 25th, 2025, and Apple's likely wrapping up major Tahoe betas. I expect the release candidate around September 8th to 10th, right after the rumored iPhone 17 event. The public release should land around September 15th, with macOS 26.1 Beta 1 hot on its heels on September 16th. A ninth beta is unlikely unless a major bug crops up. Apple's already shifting gears to macOS 26.1, which could bring new features like enhanced AI tools or deeper Apple intelligence integration. I'll cover the RC in 26.1 Beta 1, so subscribe to stay updated. What's next? Today's August 25, 2025, and Apple's likely wrapping up major Tahoe betas. I expect the release candidate around September 8th to 10th, right after the rumored iPhone 17 event. The public release should land around September 15th, with macOS 26.1 Beta 1 hot on its heels on September 16th. A ninth beta is unlikely unless a major bug crops up. Apple's already shifting gears to macOS 26.1, which could bring new features like enhanced AI tools or deeper Apple intelligence integration. I'll cover the RC in 26.1 Beta 1, so subscribe to stay updated. That's macOS Tahoe Beta 8. It's not a flashy update, but it's fast, stable, and a sign Tahoe's ready for the spotlight. Are you installing Beta 8 or waiting for the public release? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.